What was a great thing ruined by popularity? Have you ever noticed there's a threshold where a song gets too popular and will live on with the memory of everyone thinking it was overplayed and annoying? This is why I hate Radioactive. Four months straight, hearing it every morning and afternoon on the school bus did it for me. Still to this day can't listen to I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith. Fucking Armageddon. Any restaurant Anthony Bourdain featured in his shows, even he acknowledged this. These fantastic gems would subsequently be overrun with diners that they suffered from overcrowding and lower standards. I can no longer eat my favorite burger easily because of Guy Fieri. Edit, I feel I need to point out that I said I can't easily eat there. There is just a long ass line now, the food is still good. It's not ruined. He did an episode of No Reservations once in Rome and didn't show any of the restaurants from the outside. If no one knows where the restaurants are, they won't be overcrowded with tourists and become inaccessible to the locals. Really respectable of him. I live in Egypt and many of the most popular places are ruined by all the people there all year round. Yay having a KFC right across from the Sphinx is a total WTF. Most of the historic monuments. The amount of markings all over them makes me sick. There is graffiti left by Roman soldiers and Napoleonic soldiers in Egypt, which was pretty neat to see TBH. There was this Chinese tourist that literally wrote his name on one of the very well-known pharaonic temples in Egypt. Dumbass. Okay I'm going to mix it up. Sylphium, the plant used as a form of, likely very effective, birth control in the ancient Mediterranean. For this reason, and because it was apparently delicious, it gained popularity as a spice, aphrodisiac, and general cure-all and became worth its weight in gold. Julius Caesar stockpiled the stuff, and it is one of the most plausible origins of the heart symbol, and the association of that symbol with romance and doing the sex to people. Unfortunately, it only grew wild in and around Cyrene, and over-harvesting by the Romans after their takeover of the city drove Silphium into extinction by the time of Nero. And that's why we had to wait 2000 years for the pill. Huh, that's interesting. Get up to the top you interesting bastard. Lindsay Lohan, seriously. Cute and talented actress received way too much popularity with no guidance. Yay, she peaked super fast and then minutes later every time you heard her name it was after something bad had happened. Up Lindsay Lohan and Amanda Bynes. Made me give up celeb crushes. Amanda had slash has real psychological problems though. Yuck yeah. I loved yuck yuck in college. It was hilarious and had juicy anonymous gossip on it and it was a great place to just put down random thoughts. Then it started growing and people started using it for making blatantly racist comments anonymously. That led to more shit that assholes would put on there like putting people's full names in their stories and making bomb threats. A great example of a few people ruining it for everyone else. Fuck you Kiak was the best. No other app managed to catch on as heavily at my college either after it shut down. R.I.P. Yeah. The devs making people use real names is what really killed it. I can see why they wanted to after some of the shit that happened, though. The Joker Stairs in the Bronx was a nice little piece of architecture in a quiet area of Highbridge. Now Instagram dipshits are ruining it. There's more trash there than ever before. I feel bad for the local residents who have to put up with it. The Exorcist Steps near Georgetown University, in Washington DC, used to be the same, but it subsided eventually. You still get people taking a lot of pictures and such, especially around Halloween, but at one time it was a major tourist attraction in a town full of major tourist attractions. Add that to the long, long list of places Instagram dipshits have ruined. Groove Shark. Effectively free Spotify premium with every single song that you could think of on it. It was fucking awesome. I imagine its popularity drew too much attention to its multiple, blatant copyright violations. It was fun while it lasted, though. For 90s kids, same story but with Napster. 
too many people probably not realizing you should keep quiet about illegal activities. Remember, the first rule about Groove Shark Club? Plastic, it is a great material but mankind does not know how to use it properly. We have this super strong, super lightweight, corrosive resistant material that can be made into any shape at a very low cost, it lasts forever, and we use it for disposable packaging. Honestly does mankind know how to use anything properly? It's safe to say almost everything. Those T-Rex costumes. Same with the horse head. The paleontology professor at my college wore one of those during the strike at our school. As far as I'm concerned, he's the only valid person who owns one. YouTube, not really by the people on it but because of all the things around ads and such vish comes with its popularity. Plus, Tom wasn't selling off every little detail of your life for his own profit. What I miss about MySpace is how it was actually a social network. I made tons of random friends because they liked my profile picture, my background photos or my profile songs. People would just message each other out of the blue with, Hey, cool music, you rock. And there was nothing creepy or sinister about it. Now when I get a friend request on Facebook from some random, I'm like, who the fuck is this? Are they a bot? Are they trying to recruit me for an MLM scheme? Denied. Travel. It used to be fun and interesting. Now it's a competitive sport. My favorite thing about it is that people think traveling is a replacement for having a personality. You're not deep or interesting because you went backpacking in Asia. Just travel. Living your life has turned into a competitive sport. We all used to joke about keeping up with the Jones. Social media turned that into a professional sport where they keep score and the best players can land lucrative sponsorship deals. Drones. They're an amazing and useful tool for surveyors, photographers, inspectors, filmmakers, etc. But they're so ubiquitous, Johnny Dumas can go buy one at Best Buy, and crash it into a bald eagle nest, and make the rest of us who've gone through training and FAA licensing look bad. It's awful on some of the FPV slash drone subreddits. Look at my 3 mile lows flight. Or my operations over people. Or check out this plane. And you get downvoted for pointing out there are rules and that folks should abide by them. Baby Shark. Like two years ago it was a cute song to sing with my toddler. Now it's fucking everywhere. The NHL, they've made a whole TV series out of it. Fuck, just let it die. I work at a retail store and they have made a teddy shark and when it's squeezed it sings baby shark. Every single day at least 20 times a shift I hear that song when a kid plays with the teddies. When I was a girl scout like 17 years ago it was a song we used to see to each other over campfires. I wish it died back then. Online dating. When you think about it, it's a great way to meet people if your other social prospects are lacking, I love my friends, but there's nobody to date there and I don't have time for more friends. But in practice, the sheer number of available singles has us turning our noses up at perfectly good people because someone better might come along. The internet in general. The internet was so magical back when nobody understood it. Every site was like, welcome to Tom's cool train page under construction gif. Here's 10,000 words on why diesels are the best and electrics can go and get fucked. You are visitor number 00000023. Sign my guest book. My favorite thing about the old internet is that every website was passion project of some kind, just some person who made a thing for other people to see. I remember somebody showing me hamster dance for the first time, and it was like the easter egg of the internet, as if there was just the one. You just can't have novelties like that anymore. Even when stuff like eBay started, it was connecting people to other people, now it connects people to a corporation like the rest of the internet. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.